All right, I've been ragging on Ultimate Spider-Man the last couple of issues as I've not been happy uh, with uh, Jonathan Hickman just basically putting the brakes on the plot, uh, which he set up this universe, superheroes are all gone, uh, you know, uh, Peter Parker never got bit by the spider. There's a problem with that. He's married to Mary Jane with kids, um, but something's amiss. And uh, he, then he spends an issue where Peter and Harry uh, Osborne just talk for 22 pages. And then after that 22 page talk, the next issue was the Green Goblin's backstory origin. Uh, and so I, I feel like it just kind of goes off the rails. And, you know, uh, this is something that, like, I think uh, you either like Hickman or you don't. Because he tends to do this just because gets lost in his own world building. And while some of the world building is interesting, and while he does interesting things a lot of the time, I feel like the execution of the stories like don't always pan out because he just like dawdles in these moments. And that creates a pacing problem for the entire story. And uh, so I, I don't love Hickman's writing all that much, uh, but it's a, you know, it, it is probably one of the better ones at Marvel just because of uh, the premises he does set up. Now you get into this issue and it does get back on track. Uh, after I prefaced all this, uh, there's a, this is a very interesting issue and I really enjoyed it. So you have Peter at the dinner table with Mary Jane and the kids. Uh, the art's fantastic. Uh, you know, this is why it's Marvel's top selling book right now. Peter's come home from a fight. He's all beat up and they're like, why? And he's like, oh, I fell down the stairs. You know, <laughs> um, The little daughter actually knows that he's Spider-Man and she ends up accidentally spilling the beans uh, to the rest of the family here, which was trying to hide it, you know, for their safety. Then uh, it cuts to Peter and uh, the Green Goblin, and it, this is how he got his his little bashing in. And and what's interesting about this is 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 Hickman really is starting Spider Man out as like a not good hero. So he's getting beat up in like almost every like part. He really hasn't won. Now there, there's a, there's benefits and drawbacks to this. One, it gives him time to progress so lots of issues he's going to progress and get better but on the other front like uh you know he doesn't feel super heroic and that kind of bothers me in general about the ultimate universe is not very ultimate uh he's very much like subpar spider-man <laughs> not ultimate spider-man right um and woo, sorry about that um and uh so that's where this is at here the, so peter and harry are gonna break into the kingpin's uh, establishment because he's a bad dude and uh, they do so. He's been waiting for them, it turns out. And as you can see, they get this confrontation. Kingpin's not worried. And then you get into a nice, pretty nice fight scene. Uh, Kingpin uh, is scary here. He's almost scarier than, like, the regular MCU version because that one's just been defeated so many times in so many different ways that he actually feels like a really good villain here, um, which is great because that's how the Kingpin really was originally back in Amazing Spider-Man as well. They eventually, like, lick their wounds and head off, and he's... Uh, Kingpin's pretty happy, waiting for them to return. And Peter Parker gets back to, uh, then it gets back to the present with his family, uh, where he kind of admits what's going on. Uh, he actually apologizes to them, you know, doing the right thing, saying, hey, I should have told you guys everything. And uh, his family acts like a good family and respects him. I like that. Respecting the father is uh, something you don't see in a lot of modern entertainment. He then has a talk with his wife uh, after this. And this is a really nice tender moment between him and MJ, and she she understands it. She likes him in the Spider-Man suit, gets a nice flirty moment between husband and wife. This is kind of what you want from Peter Parker and Mary Jane. Hey, amazing Spider-Man, MC regular Marvel 616 universe, take note of this <laughs> and do this. It's, it's, it's insane that they haven't, but oh well. Uh, beautiful stuff, and uh, I actually really liked this issue. The only thing that could have made it better is having a little more of a plot because it's decompressed. Obviously, they're going to go back and fight the Kingpin again. Uh, and win at some point because that's a standard superhero thing you fight and lose then you fight and win uh, back in the day you'd, you'd accomplish all that in one issue uh, and they can't do that anymore with uh, like the decompressed storytelling which kind of annoys me uh, but bottom line is this was a great issue uh, I loved it a lot uh, 9 out of 10 for me I'm glad it's back on track and I hope it stays that way alright leave a comment down below with what you think about this hit the like and subscribe button we'll be back soon